right, we've got the new Garmin Zumo 396. Just got it from Amazon not 20 minutes ago, so let's open her up. First thing we got, big surprise, unit itself. Let's get some close-up shots. I hate how these reviews and unboxing, you never get a good close-up shot. Looks like you got two ports on the back here. That's your <laughs> mini USB. Wow, Garmin, it's 2019. And let's see what's under here. Looks like a micro USB slot, I'm pretty sure. Looks like there's a speaker here for maybe if you have it mounted in your car. It does not come with a car mount, but I don't see why you couldn't stick it in your car if you wanted to. So we'll come back to that in a minute. out nothing else in there we've got a bag with all the mounts let's see what's in there this bag is your handlebar mount the all the zumos ship with ram mounts you guys probably already know that if you're watching a video about a zumo so you get your one inch ball for your handlebars they fit either a one inch or a seven eighths handlebar and this is your arm for the ram mount so that's interesting it's actually branded Garmin. I'm not sure if you can see that on the camera. And it is shaped a little different than the RAM mount. Is, and I think it might actually be aluminum instead of plastic. So that's interesting. Never seen that before. Last thing is also another. Uh, ram mount piece that's labeled Garmin interesting um, this is the plate that you put the grip for this you'll see how that all works in a minute next thing we've got our data transfer cable USB A to mini USB power cable run this into switched power on your bike um, it does not come with a fuse holder so make sure no this is not a fuse box this is just a converter um, so make sure that when you hook this up to your switch power on your bike you put it on a fuse just to protect your GPS and your bike. This is the end that mounts in the mount for the GPS. Just your power contacts there. We'll get back to that in a minute. Uh, hardware. I don't want to open that up and lose everything. We'll hang on to that. And last piece, the actual cradle mount whatever term you want to use for it the GPS snaps into it to lock it on well not to lock it but to mount it to your bike and you've got a button here hold that button down and then the GPS comes out of there <laughs> That was very awkward on camera. And then the manuals that we both know you're not going to read. Oh, 
okay I've got the GPS mounted in the cradle and then just for demonstration purposes for the video I've run my power wire back to the battery so we can do a quick demonstration of how the GPS works um, first a little bit easier to see how the cradle works now that it's mounted to something you've got a long notch here on the left side and then two notches here then you'll notice on the cradle itself you have one long tooth and two short teeth <clears throat> and the two shorter ones are the ones that move in and out when you push this button here to release the GPS so you take and line up on the left side first get it hooked in and then push the right side down and it clicked in and then you may have heard it turned on there so let's get to the best part pull the screen protector off and there we go once you've got your GPS in the cradle it's powered up turns on this is the initial start so we're gonna have to do some settings We'll tell it United States, American English, oh that was too much for it. <laughs> um, here another thing that no one's going to read. And this warning, I believe this warning comes up every time you turn them on. If you've ever used any other Garmin GPS before, whether it's the uh, I think they're called Nuvi, the ones for the cars or other Zumos. This is all going to be the same, so we're just going to go through this real quick. Um, when you're choosing somewhere to go, obviously, where to? Um, that gives you some criteria on how to do a search in your Garmin GPS. Um, I think, yeah, so this is different than the older. Garmin's where you had to use the arrows now you can actually just touch and drag to move the screen around um, The I don't know if it's all Zumos or this one in particular comes with motorcycle specific point of interest That's pretty neat um, Then you've got your trip planner um, that's a way if you use like Garmin Basecamp or things like uh, the website My Route app, when you import your your routes that you planned, they'll go come into here, and that's how you edit them and then turn them into an actual route. Um, huh, that's interesting. I didn't know it could do that either. Then you can go right to the map. Um, I'm probably not going to do that because it's going to show you exactly where my house is um, apps you've got uh, once you set up the Wi-Fi on your uh, Zumo 396 you'll be able to share your your GPX files with anybody else that also has this same unit um, I imagine that'll be a feature that sticks around in their newer models too. Uh, live track if you have it paired to your phone it'll basically drop breadcrumbs every however often you tell it to and then well we're not gonna go through setting that all up um, then it'll it'll show send a map to your spouse or whoever and they can keep track of you make sure you're not hurt stop somewhere Um, and really, other than that, there's not a whole lot of point in me showing you all of this because there's already videos on how to go through a Garmin GPS. This is no, this is not special. It's the same as all the other ones. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Um, and please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.